Uh, so what did you learn Sunday about your team? Yeah. And then how do you carry that over into this Sunday? Um, it, there were a lot of good things. Obviously a lot of, a lot of not so good things this early in the season. Um, I think I think it helped we get some nerves out, uh, even though nobody was there. I think just uh, a lot of like just deer in the headlights kind of eyes, um, first time out there. But um, we, we played with some lineups. You know what 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 looks like it's going to work right now. What's what's not going to work right now. What needs some improvement. Um, you know, and I think the the one thing we learned is like we're. We're pretty average at a lot of things right now. We're not really great at, at, at some things. So, you know, really focusing in this week and the next week before we go to UCLA, just getting really great at one thing before we move on to the next thing. And, um, you know, we, we took Monday off and, and came in yesterday, had a really good practice, and uh, hopefully we respond today. What What is the one great thing you you want to work on going into this Sunday? Uh, just uh, <laughs> defensive rotations, you know, okay. just making sure our, our rotations are spot on. Um, you know, whether we're going to, you know, stay home and play post one-on-one -on -one or, or go and trap on a catch, um, just making sure we're all on the same page on those things. I think that, that was our, that's our focus. Yes, that was our focus yesterday. Um, lock in on it again today. And then, um, you know, we've got a bunch of ball screen coverages that we're average at. And just so really getting in, like, what is our bread and butter um, with this lineup or with this, with this team? And, and who, who, who needs to switch? Who needs to, who can ice ball screens? Who can trap them? Um, just kind of learned a lot about, you know, a lot about that, what we can and can't do right now um, from Sunday and, and stuff we got to get better at. Was, was, there, was there a lineup that kind of caught your eye and one that you, you, you yeah. liked? Yeah, um, I think there were a few, a few mm -hmm. lineups. Uh, ones that, that caught our eye and like, okay, that group looks really good today uh, together. Um, you know, a, 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 a team that's going to push the pace a little bit more than, than others. Um, you know, ones that you want to play a little bit quicker, ones that you kind of need to slow down and really, you know, from our, from a coaching standpoint, control what's going on on the court a little bit um, until they figure it out. And then there were some lineups that kind of had you scratching your head, like, okay, that one's not ever going out there again. So, uh, but you know, all in all, Sunday was a, a really good opportunity for us to, to learn a little bit about what we have and, um, you know, where we can get better. Well, was there a combination you liked and who, who, who was out there when you were doing it? <laughs> uh, you, want, you want the secrets. Um, you know, just like I think, you know, obviously we, we um, our five returners just felt comfortable out there. Um, and then, you know, you sprinkle in one newbie with them, two newbies. You know, anytime you got three and, and, and two returners, um, just, you know, just stuff we've got to learn. You know, like the returners naturally speak words out on the court and kind of know how to play off of each other. Um, and, and, you know, where the, I, I know for one instance, like Mary Ashley and Janae were involved in a, a back screen and Janae says stay, well, that means something different to Madison than it, than it does Mary Ashley. And so just making sure we're all on the same page and, um, you know, we're all, we're, all, we're all speaking the same language out there. Coach, what would you like to see from the incoming players once they mesh up with the returning players this year? This yeah, game? yeah, just uh, energy. Um, I think you'll see a change of pace uh, a little bit. Just you know, they're going to be really excited and really anxious to get out there and play in front of you know in front of people that you know they've been waiting for this opportunity to run through Mackey uh, down the down the tunnel with people there for a long time. Um, some of them we got committed. You know, they committed a long time ago, so they've been waiting for this. Um, so, you know, I think they'll, they'll, they'll probably look to, to play really fast and be in a hurry. Um, so we're just trying to help them, calm them down, and, and keep their nerves, up, nerves in check. But um, just a group that's hungry to, to, to try to help us win. Um, and they'll, they'll make some mistakes, um, you know, of course, but uh, you'll see a group that, that's ready to compete at this level. And coach, we talked about leadership earlier, and what, what would you say the upperclassmen have done to help the incoming freshmen for this season? Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, I think you talk to any of the the underclassmen, you know, just how how much knowledge the upperclassmen have, having played for for me for two years, and you know, Caitlin only one, but like the other four for the two years, just you know what kind of makes me tick what you know what what makes me angry you know what they need to avoid what they need they can do 
um, but just little things like, you know, you know, Madison's coming off a flare. Well, now Emily or Sophie is coming off a flare. Hey, look at this, that kind of thing. Same thing the way Janae is leading or Shonda. Hey, this is what you know is really going to be open against this team. Or look at this option. So I think it's all down the line. You know, we've got five really good, experienced kids on our team, um, leading <laughs> leading a lot of babies out there. But uh, you know, it, it's it's been really healthy so far. Yep. Have you talked to Soph?